Good morning, good morning everyone. Um, that was good. I was a bit worried from our last uh, 10 at 10 where for some reason I couldn't find the live button which was very bizarre but um, found it and um, yeah hopefully everyone's well enjoying the cooler weather um, which is obviously great and um, Yes, so nice to see lots of people joining already, which is great. So just waiting for Jez to, um, oh, there she is already. Excellent. We like this. So let me just have a look. Oh, let's have a look. There she is there. So I'm just going to, no problems for this lovely Friday. Um, and then we will start having a little chat. So yay. Morning. <laughs> Morning. You're all right. I'm well, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. It's a bit worried because obviously my last, I couldn't find the live button. It was absolutely crazy. It was really weird. At the bottom, the post and whatever, live wasn't there. And I had the other person, where are you? Where are you? So I had to do it from my phone. So this morning I was like, where is it? And it was there. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. So please introduce um, yourself, your business, and tell us what you make and sell. Sure. So my name's Jess and my business name is Thimble and Fabric and I make easy craft kits for beginners to use as a tool for self-care. So I've got a big range of craft kits now. I started with embroidery kits that kind of look like these. I've got lots Brilliant. of different designs. Um, yep. And then more recently I've branched out to other craft kits too. So I sell a friendship bracelet making kit um a pom-pom kit and a few a few other things too but the idea is that they're used as a tool for kind of that opportunity for yourself yeah. <laughs> um some time and space for yourself to reflect um and just yeah quiet quiet down your brain for a little yeah. while excellent i love that i love that and so um why did you set up your business um which we can probably understand change you just there and um, how did you come up with your business name so my business name originates actually from when i wasn't wasn't really yeah. doing this business at all so my business name thimble and fabric comes from when i was a bridal seamstress so prior to the pandemic i worked on wedding dresses and did the alterations on those um, obviously, like lots of people, when lockdown started, my work just disappeared like that overnight. Um, and I kind of found myself coming back to things I did as a child, like cross stitch and embroidery. Um, and I sort of thought, like, I think other people could really benefit from this too. Um, definitely didn't realise I was setting up a business at that point. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just thought I was doing something for a bit of fun. Um, but it really resonated with people and yeah, it's just flown from there. Excellent, excellent. Um, so whereabouts are you based and where is your workspace as such? So I'm in my workspace now, which is my spare room, um, which feels very luxurious actually, because so we moved to this area about a year ago. I'm based in Carsholton in Surrey. Yep. Um, and prior to that, I was just working like I, I had a desk in my living room. Um, so yeah, now I've got the box room, <laughs> which feels really spacious. Excellent. And you've got everything there that you need. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it does yeah. extend to the rest of the house a little bit. But yeah, there's stock in here and I've got my sewing machines and a printer, the whole lot. Yeah, because obviously you're a, a busy mum as well. So it's nice that you can go away and when you have time to lock yourself in there without having to then set up yeah. everything. And then you've got the kids so you can sort of have some time to, you know, to have your office as such, isn't it? Yeah, it's been huge, actually, a huge improvement for my mental health to literally just be able to shut the door um, and and leave it be until the next time when I have time to work, as opposed to kind of doing it just all the time. Yeah, sure. Which you can, you know, do a bit, leave it, come back to it instead of, uh, yeah, and enjoying yeah. it, isn't it? Exactly. That's something, that's something that I get from what you do is you, you enjoy it, don't you? I absolutely love it. I really do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I love the fact that you can take something to make something that, and you say, for your mental health, your, your well-being, it's something really, really important, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's the core of what I do, why I do what I do. When I had my children, I really struggled yeah. with um, 
postnatal depression and anxiety sure. so my little ones are three and one um yes. <clears throat> so we're kind of we, we are through that that worst bit of the postnatal depression but it's definitely something i still have to manage on an ongoing basis it's yep. not something i can just leave and hope for the best which i think is true for an awful lot of people um and part of that management is having the business you know it's having something yeah. that is just for me it means that i'm more than just mum um yeah, which there's nothing sure. wrong with nothing no, wrong no, with no, that. No, no. but for me i i need to have something else to kind of keep me ticking so yeah that's yeah. that's that's the core of my business really yeah and, and what you've just picked on there the mum sort of thing you know and there's so many people i know that i like yourself but um, somebody on here at the moment I know you know who she is and you know it was that of what coming to her house and so you know oh, I'm thinking about starting up and I've watched her her grow her develop her you know very kind of anxious and shy to a totally different person of by making something and also by selling it and also people like what you sell and what you make and so that gives you a real buzz and an uplift doesn't it yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. And it sparks sparks conversations. You know, it, it gives sure. me the opportunity to talk about <clears throat> to talk about my mental health with other people. And I think once you start talking to someone about their mental health, it's really hard for them to stop. You know, because those opportunities aren't necessarily present in our everyday life. And that is yeah. why I make what I make as a tool to spark those conversations. Definitely, which is great. Yes, um, there was a guy the other day just on Instagram, and you know he. As a guy, he was saying, at the moment, I can't cope and I have to take time for myself. And I don't want to take too much on. And I kind of said, well done on you. And it was almost that stigma as a man of kind of, yeah, I can yeah. do all of that. And actually, no, I need to step back. I need to do stuff that I'm enjoying. And he yeah. was actually giving. He was saying, if there's anyone out there who does what I do, then let me know and I can give you that work because I don't want to take too much on. And then it, it just kind of bombards you and you're not enjoying it. So I thought good on him for for a guy yeah. as well which is us guys have to shout out a bit more as well which you know i'm yeah. all about mental health you know as myself a mental first aider so um have you i know this is really hard um as well a lot of people are like oh god have you a favorite item to create and why have you chosen that yeah this question's really hard because obviously um i do, my creative process is creating the kits and then once that's yes. done it's less creative for me, to be honest. Um, it's more about the finding the creativity and perhaps the marketing or something, you know. Um, sure. But I think <clears throat> what I thought I would do is show you my bestseller that everyone yeah. loves. So recently, uh, well, it was been a few months ago, I created this friendship bracelet making kit, um, sure. which is <clears throat> so simple to do. And it's really, um, really accessible for all ages. And I love that I know... I know other mums who have been doing them with their little ones. And I think that the fact that it provides that opportunity to kind of connect with them on their level is really special. And I really love hearing. And, you know, sometimes they make matching ones, which is super cute. Um, so, yeah, I love I love that kit. And it's, um, yeah, I think it's really special. Yeah, friendship break. Yeah, I remember it was, you'd have it on, wouldn't you? And then all of a sudden, you you know, if you fall out, right, and cut it off. <laughs> 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 well hopefully that doesn't happen but no yeah, no but I'm it really would be yeah but I remember you'd make it and then you know and it would be a lot of the time you'd wear it for all of the summer and the kids as well because yeah. they're not at school and things like yeah. that and it's a really good way of, of um kids to be creative and you know putting colors yeah. and whatever and letting them be free of what they want to do as such um, yeah I totally agree your... I think it's oh go on no no with your kind of embroidery that you do as well that you do on the hoops is that something that you would later put on to kind of clothes and things like that as well um it's not something that i've thought about um people have mentioned before like the possibility yeah. to print them up and stuff like that mm. but but really i have i have dabbled with other things but recently i'm definitely coming back to the core of what's important to my business sure. is providing the opportunity to be creative and that is in kits um oh. so yes and no <laughs> Oh, 
No, I, I'm actually something separate, which after this fight, I need to talk to you privately about something which ah. is kind of based on that as well, which um, is really exciting and it's taking that all creativity. I might have talked to you before about it and then it's on hold and it's back again, which is great. And this is something for next year, which is really exciting. So I, I will talk to you oh, separately okay. about that. Yeah, okay, we'll have great. a chat. And it's, <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it's great. And as I, I think I've kind of said quite a lot on these chats is, we're kind of taking kind of ideas for next year of businesses that work with us, but, you know, in different ways that we can have an experience, you know, like you've just said there of, you know, coming along and, you know, having the, the friendship bracelets that they can make and also you can sell and just different ways of, of bringing those together. Wow, it's got really busy with all of a sudden loads of people just come on, just waving to them all. Um, have, uh, so well there as well, of your favourite item, but have you been working on anything new this year at all? Yeah, I mean, there's a few things, but I wanted to show you my new Make Your Own Worry Dolls kit. So oh, this is right, how okay. the kit looks. And this is what you make. So I'm sure you, oh, wow. you know, everyone's yeah. heard of Worry Dolls. The idea is that it's a tool to help you process your emotions. Um, sure. So basically, in this kit, you make them. And then in the evenings before you go to bed you talk to your worry dolls you tell them what is on your mind what might be stopping you wow. from falling asleep you pop them under your pillow and then they take them away as you sleep peacefully so it's something that i know is used a lot for children but definitely really valuable for adults too um wow, yeah. because I, th I don't know about you but i think a lot of people do struggle with that moment when you trying to fall asleep and your mind's just really really busy um and yeah. that's why i've created this kit is because i think it's really valuable to to help with that moment where you're struggling yeah. um so yeah i love i love it and it's been really popular already i only released it a couple of weeks ago, not even yeah about a week ago and it's done really well so it's obviously resonating with my customers which sure. is great and, and it's a way of, of kind of emptying your head of thoughts, isn't it? It's a, a great way of doing it is to write things down. That's yes. another way. Oh, I've got all this in my head and it's, it's, it's all buzzing around. What can I do with it? The worry doll, there yeah. we go. Put it under your pillow. And then hopefully, yeah. you know, there's still little bits are going to be there. But some of it, by just releasing it out and by saying it as well, is also good as well, which is really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a tool to do that, isn't it? However it works for you, get what's in your head out and then you can start to process it, break it down. And, you know, usually it's not nearly as bad as your mind is making you think it is, is it? Um, yeah. But I was really surprised, actually. So my eldest daughter is three and we made those dolls together. And even through the process of making, it really gave us um, opportunities to talk about feelings. And, you know, three is it's still really young for her to be able to talk about her emotions um so i think if if she can be doing that age three that really shows great potential for what older children and adults can be doing sure. when they're making them too yeah and it's great isn't it because as well with making with the embroidery kits as it's taking away from the telly taking away from yeah. social media and just Rolling. being in that yeah in that zone where you are your mind is free you have no distractions and then all of a sudden, oh, actually, I feel comfortable to talk about things, which which is great, isn't it? I think we need more of that. I mean, the amount of times I see, you know, parents shoving a phone with a game on it, you know, and the kids are full Which glass. I get. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Anything but to make your life easier is yeah. the one. But I totally agree with you in that yeah. when you're kind of when you're in the moment and you're doing something rhythmic and creative with your hands, you yeah. don't have the opportunity to to be scrolling or to be like worrying about anything else because you have to concentrate yeah. on what you're doing um and it makes you feel really grounded and kind of just 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 there you don't have to be worrying about anything else for that time that you've got it could be two minutes ten minutes two hours however long um and that's yeah. the great thing about these is that you can pick them up and put them down and you can Definitely. <clears throat> fit it in where it works for you and, and it's true, isn't it? With any, like, with yourself, what you make, and it be it a jeweller, a, you know, Dapper and Suave on the sewing machine, a, an artist, yes. that's all, when you're in that, that mindset of making something, it, it's quite a, it's, it's a great creativity outlet to just to sort of switch off and be in that moment of making, which is a great, yeah, which is, we all know how, what it's like, don't we? 
Yeah. yeah, I think when well, I think when you're a creative person, you do. But if you're not, if you don't feel like a crafty person, then maybe yes. you don't. Um, and that is another thing that's really important to me is that. <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> is that all my kits are really accessible to people who are like total beginners? You know, even people who think they're not very creative. Um, yeah, you don't need to be you don't need to be and it doesn't really matter what the outcome looks like <laughs> it doesn't need yeah. to look exactly the same as mine it it won't like, look the same as mine because you've made it um and that's something that's really important to me is is yeah. the fact that anybody could pick them up and and enjoy them. it reminds me in um primary school we used to have these things and one of the i used i really and it was the sewing and i remember doing it and you know and hopefully in schools hopefully they still do that and i hopefully it's open to yeah Probably, I, don't I think it's less and less common yeah. um, because creative arts aren't valued as highly, are they? Um, yeah. And it's a shame, but all yeah. the more reason to push it outside of school where, where you can. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's, you know, and I think it's that the dying breed of, you know, even just yesterday there was this shirt that I bought and I'd worn it, I gave it to Rob, and we just so we just sewed up so it was too long in the body and it was just like, it's dead off. Because we didn't want to throw it away. It needs something doing mm. to it. And put it on. It's like, wow, that's all it needed. It was too long. And, you know, and that bit of just learning how to, to sew and to actually, you know, put a couple of darts in something or make it your own is, is something that we need to teach the young kids a bit more of. <laughs> I could I'm not agree more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My daughters exactly. will definitely know how to sew. <laughs> yeah, which is I'll make great, sure of it. it? Yeah, yeah, which is great. So we have an ethos, as we all know, about being unique, creative and friendly. Is there an ethos, a saying or something that you kind of work with in your business or your life? I mean, there's there's a lot of things <laughs> that are important yeah. to me in business. Um, but really what inspires me is kind of what we'd already talked about, you know, is that everything I make is designed to be a tool to provide a bit of self-reflection or connection um conversation starters you know that's yeah. that's everything that i'm about um if i don't think that's going to be if i don't think what i'm going to make is going to be able to do that then it's not right um and every everything i make comes back to that it's about yeah. being a tool to help you manage your mental health does that yeah. answer your question <laughs> yeah 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 i, I think you know, with that, I, I kind of look at an ethos of with each business I talk to, is there an ethos, you know, is, are there three words that describe you and things like that? And most of the time, it's sort of like, yeah, I know what it's about. And so yours would be the mindfulness being yes. creative as well, isn't it? And also all of your designs, the graphic, you, you draw you draw all of them yourselves, aren't they? They're not copied as such. So they're all your designs. Oh, no, no, no. So I yeah. come up with them myself. Um, I get inspiration from them from, from all kinds of places, really. But yeah, that's, yeah, absolutely. Everything I design is made by me. Yeah. I do it by hand first. Yeah. And then I bet them onto the computer and manipulate them a bit. And then when I'm stitching them, they usually change a bit then too. So yeah, it's quite a long process actually. Yeah, I think I saw the day little clip because you were working on some new things, weren't you, as such? So always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, a question. I mean, this question I asked in lockdown, but I, I like to keep this one in. It's that what are your what are your what are your goals? So what are your goals and dreams? And I say for this year, but I think it's more of for this year and for the future. Yeah, I mean, I'm really into goal setting, so I've got loads. Um, and I think this year, for me, it's kind of two two sides. So for me, it's business-wise, my goals were and continue to be getting to know my customer really, really well um, yeah. and providing them with products that they love. So to do that, I've been doing lots of in-person events like I've got coming up with you um, oh, yeah. and also... I've been implementing a marketing strategy that means I can connect with people online really well. And that's been going great. I've been having so much fun getting to know my customers really well. And I definitely, I know because they tell me that I'm making things that they love too. So that's great. And then on the other yeah. side, more personally, my mantra for this year has been to prioritize rest. Um, yeah. I'm someone who works really hard and I think, 
all business owners have to but sometimes yeah. that's to the detriment of my physical and mental health um so i've been prioritizing rest wherever i can this year um yeah. by you know just by setting boundaries partly we were talking earlier by having this room which allows me to set that boundary between work and life um yeah. i've also invested really heavily in myself this year i've been doing lots of courses to kind of understand business owning better um yep. and that's been going really well um it's been those i think those things will continue forever and ever but particularly sure. this year has been really yeah. crucial for me so that i can i keep banging on about it but so that i can look after my mental health you know yeah my youngest is just turned what well she's one in a bit so coming back i was kind of coming back from maternity leave if you can sure, yeah. if that's even a thing when you're self-employed um and so it was crucial that i had to implement that this year because otherwise i don't know it just wouldn't work you know um and it's really it's really important for me that i show my children a that they could run a business if they wanted to one day they could put do anything they set their mind to but also they need a good example of someone who can look after themselves too um so yeah that, that's been a huge goal of mine this year and and will continue forever. yeah i mean i love that because i think kind of now being self-employed and that kind of of the whole work sort of thing and i know as well that i would you know the last couple of years of being you know work 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 and even at the weekends and now it's got yeah. to a point where the other week we put the out of office we'd never done it for dapper suave since 2019 and it felt good it's like yeah the orders yeah. can wait. It's, it's simple as that. And also just taking time out. And at a weekend sometimes where I'd be working, reply to emails. If an email comes through or something, even sometimes on Instagram, Monday, that can wait. And yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. And I've actually... It's hard to do, there. but the more the more you practice it, the easier it gets. Because I feel the same yeah. as you, you know. Um, yeah. And now I've kind of... Now my children are that bit older. I'm able to separate my working hours a bit. So I tend to work in the evenings when they're in bed. Um, and it is hard when stuff pinging through on your phone during the day. I have yeah. to ignore it and go, actually, now I can look at that at seven o'clock. That can wait. And that's fine. Yeah. And I exactly. think my customers have come to know that from me. Um, yeah. And they know that they'll get a reply in a couple of hours. And that's OK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it, yeah. And. And you saying as well, isn't it? I mean, I do some workshop training next week, just going through all of it. And that whole thing that you have just said there is knowing who your customers are. And that is so vital. And I think sometimes if you don't know who your customers are, then you need to go back to, you know, right from the beginning of knowing because also connecting, isn't it, with people like mm. on Instagram. And, you know, there's lots of people that, like yourself, we've chatted, we've never met because obviously mm. when our baby last year and all of that, um, yeah. you know, but we've never actually met each other in person. But you, you build those relationships with people yeah. you know. And, and yeah, and, and customers. I mean, that was well. We've got some amazing customers and we'll probably never ever meet them. But we know all their stories. We've been there, yeah. you know, for their wedding or a face mask or whatever it might be. And, and it is really, and I say to everyone as well, interact with your people if they make a comment. You know, like, you know, reply back because obviously they're reaching out to you sometimes that can be as well isn't it for your mindfulness so, oh i've just said something to them they've just totally ignored me and you kind of that can actually make them feel you know because i you know and i did it yesterday i love your artwork this woman she's, oh thank you so much but i do you yeah. know like so yeah 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 those little it works both conflict. ways and i think yeah. yeah what you mentioned is definitely what i'm trying to foster in my work is that sense of community and yeah, yeah. just and it makes it fun you know it's not yeah, then a definitely. chore to be like oh i've got to post something on instagram today what am i going to do it's i don't have that feeling anymore it's not like that it's like what yeah. can i provide for my audience that they're going to love and yeah and just exactly. learning all the time yeah. what that is yeah and yeah. also it's it's like you're with yourself seeing what you do with your reels and things like that you know oh wow that's a really great idea and it's also but whether you post is true to yourself is true to your business it's not you're not out there dancing and gallivanting around the road because that's not about what... You, but you see it, don't you? You kind of go, why are they doing that? Why are they jumping on this bandwagon to, to um, you know, to do it? Yeah, you know, I mean, this the, yeah. the trends are fun. And if that works for people's <laughs> businesses, that's great. And, and sometimes I do get involved in a trend and that's fine. But yeah. I do definitely like to keep it on brand and keep yes. it relevant yeah. to my customers. 
yeah. yeah. And I, I learned something this week by somebody. I was on a watch. I was on a Instagram reel, which was really great, a, a live. And I learned some things through it. I was like, oh wow! So I can share that the whole trend bit and the audio bit, you know, because tre- audio is trending. I'm like, oh wow! You know, like, I didn't even know that. So. And that's why I've asked my people doing the workshop, what is it that you want to learn? So I can, I can show them. Because what's really great is I've got a projector and I can put the, my iPad or my phone to the projector onto the screen and I can show everything live. So I can show them how to do a reel and all of that, which, it, you know, how to put the wording, how to do all of that, the music, which a lot of people... So, yeah, it's interesting. I'm quite looking forward to that. Going, I see it's, a whole, I've looked... it's a whole other side of your business, isn't it? The marketing aspect. Yes. And yes. Um, I totally get that for some people yeah. that comes easier than others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that just the little, little things that, you know, they're kind of, oh, I've been doing that and that's should I shouldn't be doing that on Instagram because it's it just not worth doing it. But there's other things. So, yeah, and it, that, you know... That, that's it's constantly really changing, also. isn't it? Constantly oh, God, changing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess you yeah. have to keep up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's great is, you know, we're doing this training in the house. I set it all up yesterday to see how it all worked and whatever. And it's like, yeah, you know, we have a little break. We have tea and coffee. And, you know, in that relaxed environment in, in my own home, which is kind of like, we'll even, we'll get more from it. There's a whole thing where we can sit around and chat and, you know, what we want, which is great. So, yeah. So no, um, enjoy. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, and I've actually got one as well some of the day and, you know, doing a one-to-one session with them. And I think that's more, you know, they said the other day about doing it, but then I can really, you know, zone in on their business and what they need to get from Instagram and, and social media. And, you know, they want to expand on their business. And also, you know, we can sit there with her, with her laptop and actually the followers, all of that that she's doing and do it there and then as well, which is, you know, so instead of kind of being bombarded and they'll go away and hopefully, you know, be able to do all the reels and things that, you know, are, we have, you know, we need to do as such, don't we? Well, not need to do, it's if you want to do it, isn't it? Yeah. I think video, for, for me, I've stopped using uh, still images at all, really. Video is something yep. that definitely is, is where we're going you've got to get on yeah. you've got to get on board <laughs> yeah. it's easy to kind of be like negative about instagram and there's there's the whole narrative isn't there that like oh, it's changing but i'm just yeah. i don't subscribe to it at all like i'm not into that negativity i'm here yeah. to embrace what's given to us it's a free marketing tool that's what businesses yeah. need to need to know and embrace and i think you can't you can't really complain about it you just gotta no. yeah, yeah move with definitely. it Move, oh, with get out. move with it yeah it's true <laughs> move with the times move with the times yeah instead of, instead of moaning and it's that bit of you know little things that you can do just interacting chatting commenting all of that that starts building oh wow yeah. they're in you know that little things like that instead of just the like whatever which is um you know being real and i get it well. change change is hard and that that move over to video i do get for business owners that is tricky yeah. and i i definitely felt that but i think the more it's like anything the more you practice the more you you get yep. better at it. Yeah, I keep saying down as well, we need to do TikTok, but I just see that- what Yeah, are, great, go it, for it. It is, yeah, and the whole changing of, you know, a cravat pocket square, boom, boom, boom. So um, yeah, and uh, who knows, but I think, you know, it's just that bit. We we actually bought a, a professional um, camera the other day just to get some, so we can do our own photo shoots and bits like that. So um, yeah, I took, I took some photos the other day from and put some builders. <laughs> We did it on the brick wall outside my house and there was some builders <laughs> kind of tooting at I him. I bet they loved that. Him. <laughs> and, it's, and we used that photo because he was yeah, instantly great. laughing and it yeah. was real. Um, it did look quite funny. He dressed up to the nines down the road. <laughs> this brick wall. <laughs> me go to that's that's like creative that. business owning for you, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so um, who would you say is your support network? Um, I mean, I'm really lucky to have a fantastic support network in my friends and my family. So they've been known to be roped in on the regular to um, help me fulfill orders. <laughs> yep. um, and I also test a lot of my kits on them. So like I said to you earlier, it's really important for me to um, produce craft kits that anybody could pick up regardless of their sure. level of experience. So yeah. They get tested on my friends and family quite a bit. Um, but really, I think the only people who understand small business ownership is other small businesses um, yeah. because it's just such a world unto itself. 
Um, yeah. And so I am really lucky to be part of a few different communities of small business owners um, that I've met through events, um, through Pedal, which I know you're part of too. So yeah. there's a few different communities like that. Um, and then I've met a couple of people within those that are now are really good friends of mine. Some of whom, really? like you say, I've never actually met in real life. <laughs> but yeah. that doesn't matter because yeah. we can bounce ideas off of each other and we can pick each other up when you're having a bad day. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, yeah. that is really the most valuable part of my support network. Yeah. I mean, obviously with Pedal as well, Nikki, and she's absolutely great. She's just... And I, came back from holiday and I gave her a big sort of email of things but she's going to be doing a 10 at 10 with me which is really exciting oh that'd be so, great um, yeah yeah and, and also what you said there we, we've often um we've had zoom chats we chat you know on email on, on instagram and things like that so um you know and and she said that hopefully because her trying to get to Dorking the train fares is absolutely so we're gonna hopefully she's gonna be in london very soon so i'm gonna go and meet her at a market because it just to meet somebody in the flesh isn't yeah. it it's just um you know it's really good and they've been very supportive and there's another thing a 10 at 10 that i'll be doing coming soon which is very different which um watch this space on that just talking to other different businesses and and, and whatever so which is which is great so um what events are you doing with um curated by dapper as well so I'm with you in September. Let me have yep. a look. I can't remember the exact dates. September. Um, the 11th. And then November. So September the 11th, November the 20th. And then I'm also with you on the 1st of December at the Bourne Valley Garden Centre. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I'd say, a new event, which is really exciting. And that's what was great, just getting that. I think I'm saying, you know, curating that one was really great. I had sort of like, right, I want this, this and this. And boom, it all kind of came together really nice. So um, that, that's going to be a very good one. Yeah, so cool. And finally to get you here, because I think, you know, last year you were having the baby and, you, you know, you sort of followed our, you followed our, you know, our story and what we're about as well, haven't you? So, Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, I, I first found you a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> um, and you've probably seen the change in the different people that we kind of work with. I know probably straight away at the event, there's other people that, you know other businesses that you would um buy from and also that you want to sort of start building kind of relationships and sort of with as well isn't there yeah absolutely that's that's what yeah. these events are about for me um yeah. I, I mean it's lovely if i can make some sales and make some money at an event but it's really not yeah. the reason i'm there um the reason i'm there is to build relationships with other business owners um because you never know what might come out of that collaborations yeah. and and friendships you know all sorts of things um but also just to meet people in real life meet my customers um get that instant feedback on my products um yeah. so so yeah everything you talked about that's that's why i do these yeah. events yeah and also it's great for you as to meet you know your customers who will you know and it's great that you you get it that there are those people that have specifically just come to see you at an event which is lovely isn't it you know sometimes when, yeah oh there's such as such you know like there's another 50 people here as well you know like <laughs> but you know, that, that, that is great but also from it you know you get feedback or somebody or a couple of you might oh what about this and if a few yeah. people have said it you're kind of yeah I, I might do that but yeah, yeah. there are probably the we do get those customers who can come along. Well, I can do that. And yeah, can you? You know, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> there will always be those people. And that's fine. They're just not my customer. You know, yeah. my customer yeah. understands the value of what I'm offering. And it's up to me as well. It's my job to explain to them why what I'm yeah. offering is at that at that price point. Yeah. yeah. It's, and, and you've got it. That is exactly what we want from our events is the people that can speak to the customers and, you know, instead of, you know, seeing something looks great on a display um, and then, you know, boom, they just walk past, but you want to grab their attention. You want to explain because sometimes yeah. customers, they just don't, un they don't understand or how that process of how you've made it. So that's where you need to sort of step in and you're yeah, not being too pushy, but actually this no. is what I make. And then, oh, wow. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. The next which minute, is is next. not easy to do and i'm getting yeah. better at it the more i do it um yeah. but yeah you're right chatting to people is um is the whole point of the event for me that's why i'm there yeah yeah and you know i say as well just just 
chat, make a conversation yeah. about it. And I, I've been on the other side where, you know, other storeholders and I've come to markets and stood there and I've tried to make, com and nothing's come back. You know, like, you having a good day? Yeah. And then like, Oh God, you know, like, so just keep the conversation going and, you know. Which about, isn't easy. You know, and I do understand yeah. why, why not everyone, it doesn't come naturally to everybody. No. It doesn't to me. It doesn't come yeah. naturally, but I do practice it. <laughs> yeah. I do my best. And the more I do it, the, the more fun I have with it and the more I want to do it. So. And, yeah. and it's a really good way as well, isn't it? When you're at an event and you're kind of going, oh, wow, that person just, you know, they said that or whatever maybe I'll try that on the next customer. I'm going to, you know, just maybe I'll change the way yeah. I kind of introduce myself or whatever, just to see how it works. And, you know, have a little list of different ways that you might interact and what kind of worked for you. And, you know, at the end of it, yeah. then reassess it. That's what it's all about as well, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's a so learning the, experience and about what you can learn from the other storeholders. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I'm always watch. wow, look at the way they are with the customers and how they yeah or, the or look at their yeah. display or look at yeah you know whatever it is that they're doing and yeah the more you do the more the more you learn yeah yeah exactly exactly and the last question i've got was um why did you choose to work with us i mean i think if we're honest we probably already covered it um but really yeah. the reason i like what you're doing is that you're um you're for one you're doing events on a regular basis which i think encourages um a community and the people that you're selecting for that community are probably quite like me and therefore also looking for that community too um sure. is what i hope i've not met anyone yeah, yeah, yet yeah. but i i do i do hope um that, that that's what they're there for you know um so yeah i think i think that's it really is that you yeah. kind of you took the time to get to know me um, and obviously you're then doing that with other people. And I think it's yeah. more likely that we will be like-minded. Um, yeah. And yeah, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And, you know, it's so true. You know, I've got a whole list of people where, you know, like they filled in the form, but, you know, either we're full or I'll get back to you later. But also one of the main important things is me to get to know you and you get to know us where, yeah. you know, I, I want people to come along to the event. Wow. I want to be part of this where, I did have a lady come who's an artist who who said this is absolutely amazing but the quality is just I'm not at that stage and I was like well mm -hmm. you know get to learn a bit more and it was yeah it was that but she was an old kind of lady and I kind of understood it where she was probably more suited to the little church halls and what she did um but at least she'd come along and seen it instead of applying yeah. and then getting there and going oh god I'm not quite right you know and and that's what I want to do and also you know at the moment of just you know fit you know getting those different people and you know when you've got the more people that are jewelers and more candle people you know we've got more of those but you know other sort of businesses as well but, you know nothing against candle people but when we curate it we make sure that you know we're not going to have 10 candle people we will have you know three or four different which um with your which is important right? both for the customer and for yep. the business owners yeah exactly. it makes sense to have a a range of different businesses so yeah it's really yeah. it's really exciting yeah. and i'm really looking forward to the event yeah exactly yeah. so we will see you on september the 11th september. which is kind of whizzing i mean august where is it going i yeah. know i know the whole summer is going like that and before you know it, you're talking about christmas <laughs> yeah i know i know i had a lady the other day i put, I put up the Bourne valley and she started um you know it's august i was like yeah, I know. You know, it, it's kind of yeah, but so thought, the you know, summer's actually, the summer's coming to an end, and people are thinking like, "What's next? What have I got to look forward to? Um, yeah. What can I plan for for the rest of the year?" I mean, I, I am. I'm kind of thinking, "Well, I've done, we've done our summer holiday nearly, and and yeah, what, what's yeah. happening now?" Um, so it's okay yeah. to say the C word. And actually, the other day it was on Instagram. It said it was this was last week. It's only twenty Fridays to Christmas, so nineteen. <laughs> now there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah i mean there's a there level goes. isn't there we saw the there, quality yeah. street in the supermarket the other day and i did think that's a bit early for me <laughs> oh, God, the quality yeah. street we're a bit early for but <clears throat> i'm happy to plan for christmas that's fine <laughs> yes yeah and I, and I think as well i think now i mean people are believe it or not will start mm. in september october our events buying um christmas gifts and that as well so um, oh yeah for sure yeah. i've been yeah. selling my christmas christmas uh embroidery kits already online right. and i think it's partly that people will be looking to spread their finances this year won't they as opposed yeah. to just buying them 
in December because yeah because of the way of the world. Yeah, and that's great about these embroidery kits because you can sit and make them and then put them on the tree, hang them from the yeah, tree, or gift them as as a yeah, made thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I think I might because I love our Christmas tree at um, Christmas because it's just full of all the all of the makers. So um, oh, I look that's great. great. With it. I might, I, yeah, I might need to get one of those and make one so it's on the tree. I love it every yeah, year. Yeah, do. I tag everyone in it. And I love it. The last two years, there's been a face mask and that will remain <laughs> on there. <laughs> it looks, it's a small if you want to be reminded of that, just go for it. <laughs> yeah, but it looks quite good on the tree, which is like, yeah, I'll leave that one there. So, um, or maybe not. <laughs> anyway, it, it makes a good decoration because it's all very collective. <laughs> but I will yeah. share this onto YouTube, LinkedIn and all of the other all of the other whatever they Everywhere. are yeah facebook as well yep. all of those all of that um so okay. yeah and i will see you um in september great to chat to you and nice to chat to you, too. to meet you in person take care yeah bye. see you soon bye bye